What I love about this show is that it is full of personality. Every piece has got amazing colors, amazing kind of experimental qualities of people really, really playing and having fun and letting their instinct be their guide. And when I look at a piece like this, which is what drew me in to begin with, these big flowers, I love the fact that these very, very bold fabrics are used as well as delicate little things. And like this little one with tiny little detailed pieces, there's all this variety, but it's just jolly. And it just all hangs together. Every piece in here, as far as I can see, has a kind of coherence and um, the colors all work together, but it is not at all predictable. <laughs> like this piece here is just unbelievably full of scrappy personality, wonderful, wonderful, uh, like old Liberty prints and tiny little flower prints and tons and tons of colors and details, but there's a kind of clarity in the pattern. Um, and, and, and also this beautiful soft pastel palette that really, really makes me happy when I look at it, all the pinks and lavenders and soft duck egg blues and so forth. Just gorgeous. I'm, I'm very happy. And, and you are the curator. Uh, this wonderful that you found all of these great pieces and put them together in this show that I would think would encourage anybody who's um, interested in making a quilt, but a little hesitant, you know, has a scrap pile and they want to use it and how do they use it and what shouldn't they do and everything. It, this breaks all the rules. <laughs> yeah. It really well, does. They're all um, picked from different personalities, different backgrounds, yeah. lots of different types of people that have made them. And they have scraps and offcuts from their job or from their apprenticeship. And yeah. a lot of them are haphazard or a little bit um, kind of cobbled together or there's just so many different ideas and yeah. not everybody knew how to do things properly. Mm. So there's so much character and spirit in all the different yeah. pieces. And, and it's so nice that um, we often see quilts that are very perfect mm -hmm. and very set, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and very intimidating. Yes. You know, because it, yeah. it, it's like you first have to have a, a, a lesson in decorum <laughs> before you can start, you know, and, and this is so wonderful. It's so free, um, really, really uh, charming. This is another one that's just beautiful that we're just looking at here, these soft greens and pinks wonderful palette. I mean, that should excite anybody to work with really soft, off kind of colors and yet full of life. Yes. Yeah. Full of life. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. What's exciting is picking uh, a quilt by a man. First of all, that makes me feel like there's company, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, uh, but that, that it's wonderful and a very strong personality. And he loves the old quilting world, you know, picking. I'm sure he just found that in a market just yes. as it is, stuck it on there and then started building around that with this wonderful use of orange. Yes, very bold. <laughs> powerful color. I mean, that just drew me across <laughs> the room. I'm glad you gave it a nice vista yep. so we can Central. see it from a distance. Very powerful. And, um, you know, it's, it's also, I like the fact that he respects that old world yep. and brings those old scraps. Probably a lot of those quilts are quite ugly, but he puts <laughs> them together in a way that gives them new life. Yes, yeah. And refreshes the whole look. Beautiful. And then over here, we have this beautiful crazy patch with the embroidery. Um, but taking an idea, you know, Crazy Patch is usually all over the place and Random, curves yeah. and <laughs> fancy ribbons and everything else. And this is done with just that one form, repeated and repeated, which makes you then look at the fabrics. Because mm -hmm. then you have all these delicate little prints and that beautiful embroidery. And it, I mean, she really had fun with the embroidery. Sometimes you know, plastering it right over, making a whole print out of embroidery. 
and then you know just those fancy stitches so that um, it just becomes a very interesting work a kind of a variation on the theme you know to take this half square triangle and just build it and build it out into pinwheels and squares and delightful absolutely delightful and that's just what I, I love traditional quilts because mm. I like quilts that are built with very simple geometry mm. so that you really look at the fabrics and you know you've picked a beautiful piece here that's this a great is, showcase for that yeah. Yeah, yeah really really nice yeah great show great thank you so much thank <laughs> <Yeah>. you <laughs> right. thanks